The James Madison University Jazz Ensemble took to the road on Friday morning, April 24th at 6.30 to start the long ride to the Quinnipiac Festival. The first stop was Pittman High School, where they performed an early afternoon concert for approximately 500 students in the school's gymnasium. Because of the structure of the gym, the concert did not sound up to par. However, this obviously had little effect on the group's morale. They bounced back the very next night after a five-hour bus ride that morning to beat the other competitors. Most of the other schools in the 13th Annual Quinnipiac College Intercollegiate Jazz Festival were from Massachusetts or New York, with JMU and Kent State the only other bands. These New England competitors were Westfield State College, SUNY at Plattsburgh, MIT, Eastman School of Music, and New England Conservatory. The second song the ensemble played was March of the Tadpoles, which featured the trombone section. Billy Jones, bass trombonist, described the tune. Well, March of the Tadpoles was a very difficult piece. It was about the most difficult piece I ever played in jazz ensemble. Um, it was mighty fast, I know that, and there was a lot of notes that went by, and it wasn't in a key that was very easy to play, but with a lot of work and a lot of sectionals on Sunday afternoons, when we should have been out throwing frisbee, well... <laughs> Uh, we got through it. It worked out pretty well. I mean, we brought home the trophy. Trombonist and soloist on March of the Tadpoles, Dave Denton, told me the difficulty of soloing on this song. Well, uh, the main thing is it's very dramatic, and it's very hard to play, uh, to hear the notes as well as play that quickly. It's a real quick thing. And, uh, of course, the trombone is known for incredible speed. Mm -hmm. 